What's up everybody? My name is Brad and today it's cold outside. I think when we woke up this morning it was like 20 degrees. Uh, so probably now it's 21 degrees. It's warming up a little bit. Uh, but that's beside the point. You all didn't come to hear me talk about the weather. You came to hear me ramble about books. And today I've got another book review and that is for Ray Bradbury's Something Wicked This Way Comes. I really like the cover for this one. It's part of the, the carousel. Uh, but you all are probably smarter than me. I did not know this, but something wicked this way comes is actually a quote from Shakespeare, uh, from Macbeth. It's part of the witch's scene. Um, and that at the end of it, she says, by the pricking of my thumb, something wicked this way comes. Uh, so that, I thought that was pretty cool. I learned something new um, by reading this book. But this uh, book tells the story of Jim Nightshade and Will Holloway, and I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just going to be talking about what it says on the inside flap. Uh, but they're two 13 year old boys, and they're next door neighbors, they're best friends, and their birthdays are actually separated by one minute. Will was born on October 30th, and then the clock rolled over to midnight, and Jim was born October 31st. Uh, so they sort of have this, this bond between them uh, that goes a little bit deeper than friendship. But this tells the story of um, this mysterious sort of carnival rolls into town one night. Um, the Calliope, I'm probably not saying that right, but the music um, that plays, uh, that was sort of playing by itself. Um, there's this dark, sinister looking train that's pulling it in. It was unannounced. You know, No one knew the carnival was coming. And it just sort of springs up um, to life one night in, out in this field outside town. The tents sort of wreck themselves. Um, doesn't seem to be any workers there actually putting anything up or anything. And of course, two 13 year old boys, um, you know, they're quizzical. They want to go investigate. And in doing so, they get more than they bargained for. Uh, they're sort of the sinister um, evil that lives and lurks within the carnival and the story. Um, and the carnival, it has a cool name. What is it? It's a. Uh, Cougar and Dark's Pandemonium Shadow Show. I love that name. That's an awesome name for a carnival. Uh, but the boys find that there's this sort of evil presence there, and it's sort of a coming-of-age story, um, and their fight against um, the carnival, trying to either escape from it or figure out how to uh, defeat it, if you will. Um, but it's a coming-of-age story. Um, it you know, deals with friendship. It also deals with um, your dreams and your aspirations and sort of being careful what you wish for. There's a heavy cost for wishing for things. Um, you know, you might get what you wish for, but it might not turn out how you expected. And it also deals with sort of death and mortality. Um, you know, everyone dies one day and there's certain aspects in the book that sort of show, you know, uh, the characters, getting older and older and older and you know them facing the fear of getting older and eventually you know their own mortality and dying one day is sort of a theme throughout the book which I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, but Bradbury created some really colorful, um, really descriptive characters in here that I really fell in love with. Um, the very beginning of the book after the prologue it starts out with the the lightning rod salesman. I thought he was really cool. And then some of the characters um, from the actual carnival itself were really awesome. Uh, the Dust Witch and the Illustrated Man uh, pop into my head. Um, I really loved his uh, descriptions of the Illustrated Man. And it's basically a man that has you know tattoos all over his body. But he felt like this presence and this force uh, whenever he would enter a room or uh, someone would be talking about him. Uh, it would seem like and this isn't a quote, I can't remember the quotes exactly, but it would feel like, you know, hundreds of eyes were coming up on you or, you know, thousands of footsteps, you know, somehow all the different tattoos on him. He was just this presence, um, you know, with all the tattoos on him, you know, all these different uh, presences were within him. He felt like a force larger than he actually was, uh, which was a lot of fun. Um, the writing style in this is very uh, lyrical and sort of poetic. Um, Bradbury is very descriptive, and like I said, it almost feels like poetry when you're reading it, um, even though he's not rhyming or anything. Um, it's poetry and very lyrical with his descriptions, and 
colorful with his you know his settings and all that i really love the carnival setting itself uh, it was different from what i'm used to reading i don't really read too much stuff uh, that's set in a carnival or anything uh, so it has your typical stuff you know the tents and the mirror maze and you know the side shows and the freaks um, and he really Bradbury really brought all that to life which i enjoyed i do want to read uh two quotes i have over here real quick regarding like i said it does deal with a sort of death and mortality and there's two quotes that i found really interesting from the book uh, the first one is death doesn't exist it never did it never will but we've drawn so many pictures of it so many years trying to pin it down comprehend it we've got to thinking it of it as an entity strangely alive and greedy all of it is however oh sorry all it is however is a stopped watch a loss an end a darkness nothing so he's basically saying death is is nothing and there's one more quote let me find it here real quick no, it's, is death important? No. Everything that happens before death is what counts. Uh, so it's, he's trying to get across a theme that, you know, death comes for everybody. You can't stop death. Uh, so there's really no reason to fear it. Um, you should live your life, you know, to the fullest. You know, every second is what counts. You know, your friendships and your relationships and the things you do in life are what are important and what counts. Uh, not worrying about, you know, getting older and the death that's coming for everybody anyway, uh, since you can't stop it. But um, like I, said, I don't really want to get into too much more of it. Um, I really enjoy this book. Uh, it was four star read for me. And if you're into, you know, it takes place a week before Halloween. So it sort of has that Halloween vibe to it. Um, so if you're into, you know, sort of spooky stories and Halloween, and definitely if you're into you know, stories with carnivals and things, I highly suggest you pick this up. It was a really good read. Like I said, four stars. Um, Bradbury's writing was great. He has awesome descriptions, uh, very awesome characters. Like I said, the Dust Witch and the Illustrated Man were some of my favorites uh, throughout the book. Very awesome creations. But have you read uh, Something Wicked This Way Comes by Ray Bradbury? you have I'd like to hear your thoughts about it down in the comment section below whether you liked it disliked it uh, whatever it may be uh, but that's all I have for you today thanks for spending your time with me again my name is Brad and I'll talk to y'all later bye